I've wanted to make a video about Gleemoth for years now, and it's something that just continues to escape me, but I'm actually grateful that it has taken me this long because Gloomith is now available in a physical location in Toronto at their store, Doll Funeral. And I will get into Gloomith as a brand a little bit later on in this video, but first I want to talk about how important Doll Funeral is and how cool it is and how you really should visit it if you can. Alternative fashion spaces have always been so hard to keep afloat because they are niche, but I feel like especially now in Toronto, it feels really vacant. When you walk around downtown, it there's just a lot of empty buildings and vape and weed stores, and that's about it. So I think that it's really important to support the local businesses that we can that are still around, like Doll Funeral. Doll Funeral is located at the Chinatown Center Mall right off of Spadina, and you may know this mall if you're familiar with Toronto. It has a little bit of a dying mall atmosphere. Atmosphere. It has a bit of backrooms vibes, but that fits in perfectly with Doll Funeral's aesthetic. And I feel like I've been seeing more events happening around this mall, and it actually seems to be having a bit of a resurgence, and it feels a lot more lively than a lot of other parts of Toronto do right now. Doll Funeral is located on the second story, and if you take the escalators up and then make a left and just go all the way back, straight back, look for this inflatable skull, you'll be there. Alternative directions using the elevators. There are two elevators towards the center of the building. When you are entering and see the escalators, make a slight left instead, and that's where they are. Take the elevator to level two, then go slightly to the left and follow that aisle all the way to Doll Funeral. This is not a fully permanent location, but it will be around at least until September 2024. And Gloomith is confident that she will renew and keep the store past that. I'm not sure exactly how long, but hopefully a very long time. And I hope that many of you are able to visit. Doll Funeral is only open on the weekends right now. Here are their general hours. It is important to stay up to date with them on social media though, because it is such a small operation that sometimes they have to close early, sometimes their hours might change. They are also available to shop privately by appointment. The store carries Gloomith's brand as well as secondhand consignment. So not only can you get Gloomith's original pieces, but you never know what stock is changing and what they might have available in other similar alternative fashion styles. Like when I went there, there was a bunch of just general goth pieces, which were great, a lot of vintage items, and Lolita. There was a couple Lolita JSKs and blouses. Sometimes Doll Funeral will post on their story what they have got in terms of new stock for their secondhand area, but if it's possible for you to visit I would say to check up on them every so often whenever you're downtown just to see what they have because they're not able to post every single item. There was a corset dress from Burlesco, which I'm still thinking about. I kind of wish that I had bought and they had a huge range of shoes. I really wish that these shoes were in my size. So if you go to the store, make sure that you look down at all the shoes. Don't miss them. Don't get distracted by all the other pieces. Doll Funeral also has a line of merch to represent the store. So if you don't wear alternative fashion yourself and you still want to support those are good items for you or if you want to just spice up your workout clothes or your comfy clothes your pajamas or if you want to take a t-shirt and challenge yourself to style it alternatively you absolutely could the location consists of two rooms the first room is sort of the display showroom and then the other one is an area where you can try stuff on and Gloomith is also often changing that space up with different rotating sets to take photos and just have surplus stock. If you go to shop there and they don't have one of Gloomith's pieces in your size, she can always bring it to you or you can communicate with her ahead of time to make sure that you have a certain size if there's a certain item that you're looking for. Just because the item isn't in the store at the time doesn't mean that it doesn't exist, so don't get discouraged if there's an item that is not in your size from Gloomith's brand. She can always bring it to you. Gloomith and Doll Funeral really like to stay connected to the local community by hosting events and also by helping to advertise in their store other local events. Gloomith can do really cool photo shoots for you, which can be booked through her website. Doll Funeral often hosts closet cleaning days where 
local alternative fashion enthusiasts can buy a space to just sell their old clothes and you can come and purchase them if you are interested. So great way to find a lot of different pieces at a great price. And also if you are local and you want to sell things, it's a great way to not deal with shipping and just get rid of things quicker. Doll Funeral is also starting to host artist markets for local artists to sell their original pieces. The first one is going to be on May 4th. Established in 2007, Gloomith is a clothing and art label operated by Toronto artist Tayden Hall. Gloomith seeks to share its strange universe through unique fashion, photography, illustration, and events. Blending Victorian morning tradition, street fashion cults, wildflowers, and basement clubs to create our own signature style, we're a little bit of a lot of things. Gloomith is a love letter to the misfits of the misfits, to everyone who doesn't fit in and doesn't want to. Some people argue because the brand isn't specifically Lolita that it is not, but I feel that Gloomith doesn't want to be limited to just one style, which I totally understand. They want to be able to cater to a larger audience. As a Lolita myself, I think that a lot of their pieces can be used in Lolita fashion. I think that the Lolita silhouette can be achieved, and I have been able to fit my regular petticoats I use for Lolita in Gloomith dresses. Gloomith is working to be a size inclusive brand. They don't currently offer custom sizing, which they feel is required to be considered fully a size inclusive one. They offer up to 5X in most pieces and are working to expand their range with every restock. Many of their popular designs are now available in 6X. You can easily navigate their pieces available in plus size on their website with this tab. Which is nice because I feel like often websites, when you click on their plus size section, all of the pieces will disappear, but with Gloomith, there is so much available. I personally think, and I have heard from many viewers, that they are really size inclusive, especially when you look at the lack in other Lolita and adjacent substyle brands. Now, I have a few questions for this Gloomith representative. Where are your clothing pieces made, designed, and manufactured? I design everything myself and build the patterns here in the city. I work with an ethical manufacturing team overseas for assembling the clothing, it took ages to find a group that adhered to the standards I wanted and still made beautiful items. I spent most of 2017 to 2018 testing teams and rejecting iffy contracts. You can find ethical manufacturers all over it just takes a ton of effort and costs more. Has the way you make clothes changed or evolved throughout the history of your brand? Absolutely. Originally it was just me, then I hired local people to sew my ideas from scratch in larger quantities, and we moved to manufacturing a few years ago. Have you faced any challenges or difficulties with your brand? I could write an entire dissertation on this haha. -ha. If you aren't facing challenges or difficulties then you must have limitless financial backing or crazy luck or famous parents in this industry. It's been a lot of trial and error. Looking back there's definitely been things I wish I hadn't done or allowed. It's very challenging to run a business without a lot of debt or support. I don't have connections, I don't come from money, I am incredibly lucky what I create resonates with people, and I have a wonderful network of models and friends who help make it happen. What do you hope to achieve with Gloomith? We just opened our first retail space this past October, so my focus has been on developing that and doing more with it. I'm excited to get back to hosting photo shoot parties because we haven't been able to since the pandemic. I'm also excited to work on new designs and styles. I want to wrap up this video with a few honorable mentions of pieces I really like from Gloomith. I had the chance to model Doll Cheeks Velvet Corset Dress and it is extremely comfortable and so elegant. This piece has so many possibilities to be styled. I love the cute detail of the straps being bows that you can tie in order to adjust the length more and it gives it so many different looks. Heading away from Lolita style, I really like the clown print dresses. They have so much detail in the prints. Look closely at Gloomith's prints, there's so much to see. I also think that Gloomith's leggings and tights can add so much fun and style to a coordinate. If you visit Doll Funeral, I'd love to see your adventure and if you own any Gloomith pieces, feel free to tag me in stories on Instagram. This video was not a paid partnership, I genuinely want to share local and general small businesses that would be relevant to my channel, so if there's anywhere else you'd like me to explore or cover, please let me know. As always, stay lovely.